1965, um, Sister Mari was the principal at St Christopher's Primary School of Panania and uh, she asked a couple of parents if they would be interested in putting some rugby league teams together to play in the Canterbury Juniors. Those fellows took up the challenge, uh, started off with three teams in 1965, two under eights and one under nines, and uh, the, the club just grew from there. Actually it was after footy was done and my uh, older brother played, so we used to have barbecues on Sunday afternoons, or well, Saturday afternoons, and play bull brush out in the grass. But the families, the players, the coaches, uh, the supporters, we had a certain discipline, a certain code about the place. Oh, it means a lot. I was a 10-year player, same as uh, both my brothers were. Um, and now to have my kids come down and uh, still see uh, a lot of familiar faces, which is great. Uh, just the people in it mainly, the amount of many good people I've met over the years have become good friends. Um, it's a fair family orientated club um, and we've been pretty successful over the years. In 1985, uh, as I said, we acquired the, the ground here and the numbers swelled. 1985 was a, a really successful year, uh, won five premierships, senior club champions, junior club champions and overall club champions. I think, yeah, giving back to a game that gave me so much is, it's, it's not an effort. It's a good feeling just being down here and seeing my name on the, on the boards for different, different types of stuff. It's um, bringing back memories. And like you said, the, the pictures on the wall and the names that have played, and we're still mates now. We still talk to each other when we see each other and have a beer and it's like you never left. But people, parents, want to bring their kids here to play because they know they're going to be well looked after uh, and well trained and trained not only as footballers but as people and good citizens.